Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I've owned my Tesla Model Y long range now for about two and a half months. And in this time, I've put a bunch of modifications into the car. Some are aesthetics, some are technology upgrades. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff I've done to the car and some of the cosmetic changes. Now, I pretty much installed everything on the car myself. It's all DIY, except for the wheels, which I will discuss in a bit. Now, I will leave links for all the stuff down in the description. Uh, some of those might be affiliate links, so if you guys want to go pick it up, go check it out. Let me start off with the exterior changes. So by default, the Tesla logo on the car comes in a silver color, so I just put a black cover on top of that, so you can see over here. Everything on the car is blacked out, the door handles, you know, all the rest of the trim, except for the silver Tesla, so uh, I definitely wanted to fix that, and this is an easy and cheap way to get that done so black tesla logo over here now by default the side mirrors on the tesla come in body color so these are originally white this is a real carbon fiber overlay on the original mirror so you just kind of slip it on there and it's like uh, you know glued on at the bottom there's a couple of nice things about this one is that it kind of matches with the black trim of the car the look that i was going for was like black and carbon fiber and uh, it also protects the mirror like in case you open the door and stuff uh, you're not going to damage the original white paint and it's going to kind of protect your side mirrors and i love the way this looks now i love the way that the performance a model y looks with its black wheels but they have a couple of disadvantages first of all they're expensive secondly they have worse ride quality they get scratched up very easily and the third thing is it actually reduces your range and range was really important to me because i don't have a charger at home i'm going to be doing a video about my experience of not having a charger at home and owning a tesla very soon so if you guys want to I kind of stay tuned for that hit that subscribe button but uh, these wheel covers were super easy to install you know i got the set of four of them for around 400 dirhams on aliexpress they look amazing they maintain the range of the car as well maybe five percent less than the uh, you know the induction wheels that you get standard with the car but they look so much better they give the same kind of performance look and i also got these metal uh, brake caliper covers installed on the car. That's the only thing I couldn't install myself because it required the whole car to be jacked up. Uh, but they were able to install this in about an hour. And I think it really adds to the look of the car. You know, they also provide some protection to your brakes as well as help them cool down. So there are a bunch of advantages to having a caliper cover like this. And I love the way they look. It makes it look like a performance model Y without all the disadvantages of the rougher ride and having to be really careful with your rims because these can just be pulled out and replaced for about 100 rims, which is like 20, $30. So amazing stuff. And in case you're wondering what the underside of a Tesla looks like. So this is the performance spoiler that I got installed. This is pretty much a replica of the Model Y performance. You know, it does look really nice. It gives the car a bit more of a sporty vibe. And I like the way that it matches with my mirrors as well. And, you know, I just like the whole black and white look that I have going on in the car. Uh, and then again, we got the blacked out Tesla logo over here which I think matches perfectly with the spoiler and just looks so clean. So those are pretty much all the exterior upgrades that I did. Uh, you know, the, I love the blacked out wheels, highly recommend it. The logos, if you want it, the spoiler, I think, you know, makes it look super cool, just like the performance version. And uh, now let's check out the interior stuff, which is where all the tech installations happen. So let's start with the simple stuff. So basically in the boot, I've got um, a mat installed. So this is a, a waterproof uh, mat that goes in the boot. It basically protects the boot liner. It gives it more of a rough surface so things don't move around in the back. Um, I love the boot of the Model Y, by the way. It's like considering the size of the car is actually massive over here. And I've got the same kind of uh, mats put in on the front boot as well, the front. I like the way they look as well and they definitely provide more of a grip so that your stuff in the boot doesn't move around. So recommend these things. So here you can see what the interior boot looks like. So without it and with it. Again, stuff doesn't move around in here. I usually keep my camera gear in this front area over here. It's 
very easy to access it from here and uh, it's quite huge as you can see in the model y easily fits my bag and a tripod i just wish this was electrically operated though let me quickly walk you through all the tech stuff and then i'll talk about the usability stuff so in the car i have a esr mount over here for my phone the tesla actually has a wireless charge over here but it doesn't work very well with my iphone 14 pro and also it's very difficult to see your phone in case you get a message you kind of had a fiddle around with it to pick it up um, you know it's nice that it's there for the passenger or something to charge the car but i prefer having my mac safe um, you know right over here it charges my phone very reliably and then if i want to pick it up to respond to a message or change my map directions or something very easy to do it with this now the cabling is kind of routed from the side as you can see over here and it goes down below the dash and comes into my center console from here I've done all the wiring, uh, I've concealed all the wiring so you don't actually see any wires in the car except this little bit coming out of here. But uh, yeah, love this system. It's mounted into the AC vent using this mount which has a ball mount on it and then the ESR was mounted on top of that. So I'll leave a link for this. You can pretty much put any phone mount you want that has a ball socket at the back um, and it works really well and it's super solid doesn't shake my phone or anything amazing so the next thing i installed was this screen over here there are two things i don't really like about the tesla model y is one that it doesn't come with carplay and secondly it doesn't have a digital dial cluster like most cars everything is done on this big screen now you get used to it very quickly and it's fine but i really miss carplay and I wanted some way of being able to look at my speed as well as my indicators and all that up here. So this is a third party display. Uh, this came from AliExpress. It's a 10 inch screen that supports both CarPlay as well as Android Auto. It's fully touch screen and it also connects directly to the Tesla computer to give you your speed and other information about the car right up over here. Uh, the only disadvantage of this thing I would say is that it uh, it blocks your AC vents a little bit and right now it's winter in Dubai and it's been fine but maybe in the summertime I might need to pull this out but that's the beauty of it it's not a crazy installation you do kind of have to remove this dash trim and route the cables on the side to the Tesla computer which is at the bottom over here I'll show you some clips of my installation of it I did manage to do it myself I would suggest going to a professional if you're not comfortable with opening stuff and doing DIY stuff but this screen has been amazing because I love using Google Maps on this as well as the Tesla Maps at the same time. It gives you two different views of the road, uh, you know, playing podcasts and everything from it. It connects directly to the audio system of the car and gives me amazing sound. The Tesla audio system is absolutely amazing, by the way. So um, very happy with this. And it looks pretty much exactly identical to the look and feel of the original Tesla screen. So this looks very OEM, like it looks like it came from the factory this way. And I'm um, super happy with this one. The next tech installation, which you can't see right now, but I'll show you guys some clips uh, in a darker environment is I've put lighting. So the Tesla doesn't come with any interior lighting by itself. There's just a footwell light down there. And that's pretty much it. I'm really used to having interior lighting, especially with other luxury cars like the Q7 and stuff like that. So I did get an aftermarket uh, light installed over here. Over here, you can see a little glimpse of the light over here. And also it goes through the whole center console. And it looks amazing uh, at night. It looks pretty OEM, I would say. I also changed the look and feel of the center console to a carbon fiber look. It also matches the outside mirrors and the spoiler. Same with the steering wheel, we've got a carbon fiber. Um, you know, these are just stickers that pretty much go over this so it doesn't really affect anything on the car. Uh, you can easily just peel it off. Same with this. There's not actual carbon fiber, it's just like a sticker on top. Our lighting system is really cool because it actually connects with the computer of the car and it's connected to the ambient light, light system of the car. So when the car is, puts on the ambient lights in the footwells, all the system comes on and when you turn off the car, it goes off by itself. So that is a very OEM feel uh, to this lighting system. Everything is actually routed behind this tray, by the way. So this is another thing that I would highly recommend. These are some trays. By default, you just have this deep cavernous area over here. So it's kind of hard to keep stuff. As you can see, I have some cables and stuff kept in here and you know, it's a bit of a mess. So just having this still on top 
It's really nice because you can slide it in and out and you can keep your cards and other important stuff over here. And uh, it's really convenient because it doesn't, because it doesn't interfere with your actual space uh, and it makes it look a bit more clean when your center console is open. Same thing over here, there's another insert. Here you can kind of see the wire coming and going down into the car. So if I open this up, so here you can see all the cabling I've done for the center console system. So the lights come over here and then the cabling all goes down over here. There's a controller system. So this is the controller for the LED system as well as I've got this converter of, uh, you know, your three volt socket, which gives you two extra ports, as well as some USB ports on the side. There's a USB-C as well as a USB-A. So this thing has been super useful. It also automatically shuts off when the car shuts off. So it doesn't cause any extra battery drain on the car. And everything kind of sits below over here. And uh, you don't really see any wires or anything when you put this, uh, you know, center console uh, system in here. So this extra storage is more organized as well as this little thing. So this is a secret compartment. In here, you can keep something in here. I don't really use it. It came with the set of this, but uh, there's a nice handy feature to have as well in case you want to keep something hidden in the car. So that's part of the center console. I did also get this uh, cup holder cover. So by default, the Tesla covers look like this, but this sticker thing wasn't perfect. Plus, if you have like bigger bottles in here, it's going to move around. So this thing just kind of makes it look more clean at the edges with my wrap that I put as well as give some extra support for bottles and things like that. I also changed the look of the brake pedals. So these look like the performance brake pedals. This is amazing because it's just like a 30 or 40 dirham upgrade it protects your pedal. It also gives you more grip than the standard ones. And they look amazing. Like this really looks uh, nice and sporty in there. Another upgrade we did, which you can't see right now, but I'll show you later, is that the doors actually show the Tesla sign when you open them uh, down on the floor. So that was a upgrade. I had to change the light down here. And, uh, but that was a really cool, cheap upgrade. Like, I think 50, 60 dirham. So that's kind of it for my upgrade video. These are all the modifications I've made in the car. I do have a few more plans for the back seat to do some stuff. I'm going to be putting like a media console in there so you can watch movies and stuff at the back as well. But uh, apart from that, I'm, I think I'm almost done with the modifications on the car. And um, I've really been enjoying the Tesla Model Y. It's an amazing car, the performance, the features. So I'll be doing two more videos about the Tesla, one about uh, how it is to live with the Tesla without a charger at home. And the second will be my long-term review of the Tesla Model Y. So stay tuned. If you guys like these videos, hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.